The Wonderworks Family Movie is made possible by a grant from the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, with additional funding provided by the annual financial support of viewers like you, and the National Endowment for the Arts. I've heard that all this renovation work is going to cost almost a million francs. And I still have the old costume. Prince Charming smiling. That means trouble. Bonjour tout le monde. Bonjour. Yes, it's very good. Splendid, huh? Ah oui. Our new manager would like to have a meeting with all the feature clans. But I promised my landlady I'd pick up her son from the railway station. I'm late already. Well, it's a very important meeting. About uh, changes that will affect all of you. Don't worry, Theodore. I'll pick up Michelle. Is that okay, Anatole? Oui. The rehearsal is in 30 minutes. Attention, attention. Le train pour Paris arrivera au quai numéro 3 à 5 heures. Excuse me! Excusez-moi! Si! Monsieur! Oh, oh, oh. I am not Sim. I am a robot double sent by the evil owner of the dark circus who kidnaps little boys and turns them into wicked clowns. Good! Then at least I'll be a clown. Yeah! Yes. Excusez-moi! Excusez-moi! Vous! Et vous! No, 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 wait, wait, please, civil play, civil play. Mother? Dead? No. Looking for big brother. S'il vous plaît. Pardon, pardon. Bien, les enfants. Ouais. 
Ok. <rire> c'est bien. François, t'es un peu en retard, hein, excuse-moi. Bon, c'est pas mal. Mais on recommence. Ce coup-ci, je dois... This is intolerable. Ah, oh, we expected to, to work here. It's a disgrace. It is appalling. And why should the Cirque d'Hiver be renovated anyway? Surely I explained at our meetings. For over 100 years, the Cirque d'Hiver has been the same. I wish life could stop for us all while you create. But in the meantime, a little inconvenience is inevitable. What a thrill to rehearse my clowns in such exciting surroundings. And I'll tell the builders not to hurry. Thought you needed cheering up. Have you been wearing your costume outside the circus? There wasn't time. No, that it is forbidden. But enough! We've been waiting for you. Francois should do is go into the audience and start a bucket chain. Oh, yeah, sure. Well, what is this bucket chain? No, no, wait. Listen. And then Eugene should look like he's going to jump, so you guys tense up. But at the very last minute, Eugene remembers that he's forgot his teddy bear. <laughs> that good clown logic. But I haven't got a teddy bear. I do not understand. How is it Francois go to audience? Why change good routine? Yours to make change? No, I don't think. But the kids all... Hey, it's my routine, right? Can't we even talk about it? What do you want, a rehearsal or a committee meeting? He's worse than the manager. Anatole? We cannot make Eugene do what he does not want. But Anatole... Monsieur Tolin. Monsieur Tolin, it will work. Peut-être. But it has been discussed before. It doesn't work for Eugene. Hey, they pay to come and watch us perform, not do the show themselves. But... but... That is my final word! Bon, Eugène, tu ne refais plus ça, hein? Et toi, tu te souviens? You already ça, was better. Ça, ça, ça va pas. Ok, bon, allez, on y va! Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Salut les mecs. Hey, Seb. Yo, à demain. Hey, Francois. Carry from blood. He listens to them. Why won't the others listen to Sim's ideas? Eugene and Francois are feature clowns. I know that. Sim's turn will come. When he is ready. That's enough, Michel. It's time to go home. Yes. But Anatole, look. They're enjoying it. People are laughing. Sim! They're terrific. Anyone can bang your frying pan. But Anatole, clowning's uh, We need some tomatoes for dinner tonight. The Saint Antoine market will still be open. But, but, always but, can't you do what you ask without questioning? For once. Merci, monsieur. 10 francs les tomates, 10 francs, 10 francs, elles sont belles, elles sont belles. Qu'est-ce que ce sera pour le jeune homme? Euh, un kilo de tomates, s'il vous plaît. Un kilo pour le jeune homme. Et voilà. Un kilo. Un kilo tout juste. Dix bon. francs les tomates, dix francs. Voilà, jeune homme. Merci. Dix francs les tomates, dix francs.
Irina, Michelle. Sim. Is that a party I can hear? Yeah, some friends from the circus. They tricked me, I thought they'd forgotten. Even me? Didn't you get my present? Yeah. I haven't opened it yet. Saving it up. I'd love to share your birthday with you. You are, Mum. You know what I mean. Hey, great news. I've got a house now. You've even got your own room. It's all ready for you. When are you coming back? It's hard to say. No rush, next Friday I'll do. <laughs> so, how's it going? Great. Are you sure? No, really, it's fantastic. If it doesn't work out, Sim, you can always come home. Thanks, Mum. But why don't you come here? Love to. When are you sending the ticket? As soon as I'm famous. Oh, well, great, I'll see you next week. Thanks for calling. Bye, Sim. See you. I said you gotta open your eyes. That's good. But why don't you take a shortcut now? What do you mean? Juliet! Juliet! And the rhythm picks up by itself. Okay. Romeo, you don't have anyone else down there with you, do you? No, there's only me. A and Anatole. <laughs> Thanks for the party. It was great, Anatole. Now, one last present for you, mon ami. Some advice. You want to perform your routines. So, you make suggestions for changes to Eugene, who doesn't like suggestions from anyone. Especially from young carpet clowns. <laughs> That's just it. I'm only a carpet clown. Now the carpet clown wants the spotlight. Is that wrong? No. But the Cirque d'Hiver has a tradition. And the tradition has been working for many years. Perhaps there is another way of looking at this. Do you think this circus grew overnight? You have learned much. I admit you are almost ready. But do not rush or you are doomed to fail. But... I... But... Greatness comes through hard work and patience. And greatness is what you want, yes? I just want to make people laugh. <laughs> Believe me, the whole world will laugh. In time. Are you intending to finish that? Oh, I prefer something a little less, uh, you know. Uh, music to my ears. You mean money in the bank. Why not? For me and for you. 
What is all this? Figures, sums, conclusions. My plans for your circus. And what is in this plan? Mostly cost cutting. Uh, perhaps we should start with the gâteau. <laughs> Monsieur Chevalier, why do you think your board sent me here? Let us talk about this when the renovations are completely finished. Hmm? Then more audience will come and more money. You hope? We hope. We must come to an agreement on this, Arthur. You must... We must look at our costs. We have far too many backstage staff and our performers are overpaid. Fyodor est attendu. On attend Fyodor. Come in. The plan I have in mind is set out in these papers. If we are to raise enough money for the next stage of our renovations, I must convince your investors... Yes, yes, but I need time to think. How am I to tell the artist? When am I to tell them? Strike while your iron is hot. Pardon? He who hesitates is lost. Uh, yes, I, 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 I will do it. Soon. That overstuffed Englishman says we are paid too much. Ah. What does he spend on cakes? Yeah. I'm going to ask Anatole for an audition. He'll cut the backstage staff, then we'll be next. You what? An audition? I've checked. Carpet clowns can ask for auditions whenever they feel like it. Sim. Anatoly sees great things ahead for you. We all do, but in, in time. time. This is not the time. If they cut costs, that means people. Sack people? Monsieur Chevalier would never allow it. It's the Englishman who is running things, not Chevalier. I think you do nothing now. Just wait. Please, wait. Station. Uh, Excusez-moi. Uh, C'était moi à la gare avec le petit garçon, Michel. Ah oui, bien sûr. Vous étiez si marrants tous les deux. Sim le clown? Oui, au cirque d'hiver. Je suis Michel. Moi aussi, je veux être un clown. Je m'appelle Eve. Eve? Oui. Vous n'êtes pas français? Ah uh, non, uh, je suis australien. It looks a bit sad. You, you speak English? Of course. And I live in Montreal. And you work with the Cirque de la Lune? From Canada? Yes. I'm also a clown. I'm performing here in Paris. <laughs> it's really good to see you. <laughs> I'm here with the Cirque de la Lune because I'm training with them back home in Canada. But I'm not a full-time member of the company. So, so it's just a hobby? Oh, no. They let me walk up and perform my own routines. Seems not allowed to do that. Why not? You're good. The others won't let him. It's not the way we develop our material. Anatole's my teacher. He was a fantastic clown until he had an accident and hurt his arm. He can't perform anymore. But he writes all our routines and, and directs us. But shouldn't your teacher be encouraging you? He does. In other ways. Maybe he's testing you. Testing? To make sure you're dedicated. That it's not just a hobby. 
Average mind. <laughs> Hang on. So traditional. No, no, no. Listen to me. They've cut other costs. We'll be next. The performers are the heart of the circus. Well, that man has no heart. He thinks uh, circus is two trapeze artists, uh, two tightrope walkers, and two clowns. We have eight. We will be the first to go. The Sadie will never cut his clowns. You didn't hear what I did. These are bad times. That's Anatole with his back to us, my teacher. And that's Fyodor, the tall, skinny Russian one. And Irena, my landlady, Michelle's mother. You sure you can't come and meet them? No, I can't. My parents will be worried. Will I see you tomorrow? Maybe. See you at 12 o'clock. OK. If your teacher lets you. <laughs> Anatole, I want an audition. Are you sure? Think carefully. I'm ready. Let's see what this carpet clown can do. You cannot refuse him, Anatole. Every carpet clown has... Trois cafés et l'addition. Wednesday, 3 p.m. <laughs> Anatole will vote yes. He must. Remember. Play to Chevalier. That Charles Braddock will say no, whatever you do. Chevalier. Well, Sim. Monsieur Tolin tells me you want to be a feature clone. Oui, monsieur. Well, it is your right to uh, request this audition. This panel will consider your work. Allez, uh, let us begin. Spaghetti? No. Uh. Spaghetti? No. Spaghetti!
work for me. I think now. Interesting. For me it was yes. Monsieur Tolin? It was very good, Sim. You are learning. But you are not ready. I have to say no. Then I take it we finished? I'm sorry. Another audition. You have to wait at least 12 months. It's the tradition. <laughs> you can't beat the system. Are you good enough to be a feature clown? Yeah. But how do I convince Anatole? Maybe you should look for another teacher. He taught me everything. Only a suggestion. Come. Where? to see some exciting clowning. But Le Cirque de Vers that way. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose it was all right. You just don't want to admit I was right. Eve, qu'est-ce qui se passe ici, hein? <laughs> well, are you going to introduce me to the star of our show? Philip, this is Simon Ganner, a countryman of yours. No. <laughs> what do you know? What are you doing in Paris? I'm a clown at the Cirque du Vert. Oh, yeah, good on you. Well, a carpet clown. Oh, you improvise well. <laughs> do they teach you that at the Cirque du Vert? They... Sim wants to learn more about your style of clowning. Good. Well, it's, uh, it's unpredictable, but it's great when it works. Hey, why don't you come and practice with us? You mean I'd be allowed? Of course. Yeah, we love new people and new ideas. I'll see you later. Hey, how do you know I'm interested in your style of clowning? If you're not, you should be. <laughs> <laughs> Must be terrifying for people to be dragged up on stage. I know I was terrified. No, they love it. Back home in Montreal. We've got companies like that back in Australia too, you know. Philip's probably worked with them. Philip is great. Always pushing us to try new things. I wish Anatole was like that. Was it? I have to go back to the hotel. Have you eaten? No. Hmm. Ah, no money. Hey, why don't you come back to my place for dinner? You can meet Irena, Michelle's mum, and maybe even Anatole. 
Sure. Irena always cooks enough for an army. Jose and his acrobats are looking for another place to work. How do you know? And Helene and Odile are going to the new show at the Katsu. Imagine Helene and Odile doing rubbish for the tourists. If I had a carrot for every rumor, I would be a rabbit by now. But Les Aldivers is a Paris institution. Our new manager says there are too many expenses. He's spending too much money on stopwatches, calculators and computers. And on too many cakes. Monday, the finance committee. Tuesday, the programming committee. Wednesday, the renovations committee. Thursday, the committee revealed the committee, 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 committee. Henri says there is a list. A list of what? Of those who will lose their jobs. We've got to do something. We have to confront him now. Now? But it's 11 o'clock. He works late. Uh, no, no. Uh, you will only make it worse. Not if we stand together. The clowns, the trapeze artists. Anatole Tolin, Yves Tetron. Mademoiselle. Bonsoir, monsieur. Yves works as a clown at the Cirque de la Lune. Ah, I performed there this afternoon. Indeed. Oh, we dragged him up on stage. He was good. Mm -hmm. He is improving. Oh. Your dinner is cold. You're very late. A meeting of the program committee with Charles. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? I was just saying it's about time we confronted that stupid, stuck-up, interfering little accountant before he wrecks our circus. Sim, we have a job to do, so we do it. He also has a job, that's all. Henri says there's a list of people who are going to be sacked. Nonsense. If there is a list, we have a right to know. I'm going to ask him. We have to know who's on that list. You will not go to see the manager. Not tonight, not tomorrow, not any time. It is not your place. Yeah, I'm just the carpet clown. Pardon? Nothing. Mademoiselle, I'm sorry. We shouldn't be talking like that in front of a guest. I've finished. And I should be going. Merci. Madame, Monsieur. I'll walk you back to your hotel. Aha. Better that than circus politics. I, I need some fresh air. I I'll walk with you. I, th I think I'll manage on my own. Thank you. Cretin. Anatoly, once you were young? Perhaps not. There's no one here. He always works late. Can't you ask him tomorrow? He's always in meetings. <gasps> Last time I had the hiccups, it lasted two days. I sipped water, held my breath. Are you listening? <clears throat> what did I just say? <clears throat> if you won't tell us what's going on, we'll all go on strike. What are you going to say to him? Mr. Braddock? Let's go. I'll tell him there's more to life than just money. <laughs> Mr. Braddock? Someone there? I'm going to check the computer. And what if he catches you? <laughs> we'll hear him coming. What is he doing with this? Maybe I can find the list and he won't even know. Does he collect this stuff? <laughs> he confiscates it. He hates practical jokes.
you hear something? Only the blood rushing to my head. <laughs> if I were this funny on stage, I'd be a star by now. Maybe the list isn't here. All I can find is a seating plan. The 21st. That the day I came. I was sitting there. J11. Why are there two colors? It says Lupa here. The purple ones must be free. No way. I paid full price for my seat. Doesn't make sense. How long did you say you had to wait for your second edition? Twelve months. Guess who did the second edition two weeks after his first one? Two weeks? <laughs> and I told Tola. Hello? Can't get back to the start. <gasps> the shoes. Do I get rid of them? <laughs> Shit, Dara. It works every time. Don't bite my head off. But I don't think Charles is your real problem. Why did Anatole tell me to wait 12 months? Why? Don't ask me. Ask him. Morning. Yes. And you? It was a long walk to Yves Hotel. It was. We ran. <laughs> I want a second audition. It is a tradition to wait at least 12 months. You didn't. You had a second audition after two weeks and you don't want me to have the same chance you had. Would you like to know why I want you to wait? Because it's the tradition. I was as talented and impatient as you. I became a theatre clown when I was only 17. But here and here, I wasn't ready. I was young and inexperienced. I relied on gimmicks and soon they ran out. There's always someone who can help. Not when you are an atoll tolan, fitter clown at the Seigi Vey at only 17. I was too proud to ask for help. I won't let you make the same mistake, Sim. I won't. Audrey. Qu'est-ce qui se passe? said no. How oh, could he? What did he say exactly? He doesn't want me to make the same mistakes he did. Where is he? I think at the Cirque de la Lune. On recommence, monsieur, encore une fois. Bonsoir. I'm going to get that audition. I thought you said... I'll go over Anatole's head. I'll ask Monsieur Chevalier. 
exactly like my first audition and he at least encourages me. Anatole won't be pleased. That's his problem. Everyone thinks I give him too much attention already. It is unfair to the other clowns. You are more than his teacher. He loves you like his father. You water a plant, it grows flowers. You give it too much, it drowns. So, uh, you want another audition, huh? Yes, for the new routine. And how did you know? Monsieur Tolin came to see me. He had no right. Monsieur Braddock tells me that uh, we cannot afford any more future clones. Surprise, surprise. Ah, yes, I know the performers don't like him, but the circus needs him. So he keeps telling us. I'm also concerned about another matter. I have reason to believe that you have been prying into the affairs of the circus, using the computer to check the record. The computer was already on. So it was you. Monsieur Braddock was correct. I went to see Mr. Braddock to see who was on the list, who he was planning to fire. There is no list. Monsieur Braddock advises me and the board. The decisions are mine. Then there's no problem. Oh, but I think there is. You insist on another audition against the advice of your teacher, and then you object when he speaks to me? I didn't mean it like that. You snoop around, examining confidential files? I was waiting for Mr. Braddock. You miss rehearsal? And then you make assumptions about circus affairs that are not your business. I think you're not very happy in this family. I'm sorry. I got carried away. The rashness of youth I can forgive because you have talent. But you are not happy here. And you are making other people unhappy. Mon ami, I think it's better if we part company. You mean I'm fired? Hey, Tim. What are the bags for? You're not thinking of... Leaving us, are you, Tim? Are you? Sorry, George. It's the end of the road. Take me with you, Tim, please! I always thought we could go far. If you just change your face, your head, your personality, lose a bit of weight, get rid of all those pimples, we could go far. You and me. And Eve, of course. She could come too. <laughs> Help me pack. I'm out of here. I tried. I pleaded with Monsieur Chevalier. He won't change his mind. Sim. It's not my fault he fired you. Either way, I don't have a job. What else could Chevalier do? You sneak into the manager's office like a thief. Me? A thief? Do you want to know what I found out about our fabulous manager? I found out. What? Forget it. I'm fired. It's not my problem. Sim, you must know. I've always wanted what is best for you. You always say that. But I have other responsibilities to the clowns. And to the circus. Ah, oh, sure. You've thrown away a great opportunity. A clown at the Cirque d'Hiver. And I helped you to achieve that. And you stopped me achieving. I wanted to be a feature clown, but you stopped me. I went to Monsieur Chevalier for advice. Great advice. Give Sim the boot. Don't be a fool. I didn't tell him that. You think everything I do is foolish? That I can't make decisions for myself? That my ideas aren't good enough? That I'm reckless, impatient? 
Everything I do is wrong. I tell you the truth because I am your teacher. Sometimes a teacher must be hard on his students. You're not my teacher anymore. You're not just going to give up, are you? Le Cirque de Vert is not the center of the universe. <laughs> I've been trying to tell you that. There's just one problem. No job, so no visa. I'll be sent back to Australia. Join Le Cirque de la Lune, come to Montreal. <laughs> sure, no worries. I'll book it up to my wealthy patron. Hey. Tonight, after your performance. I can't. My parents are coming to see the show and I promised to go out with them after. I'm sorry. Pas de problème. And you're leaving in a couple of days? Yes. Great. Dizzy, slow down! <laughs> You're too big. God, man's got to use whatever advantages he's got, Michelle. Sim, viens m'aider. It's <laughs> like taking candy from a baby. What rules are you playing? Sam, come on, play. We'll take you on. Loser buys lunch? <laughs> All right. Now, I'm from Harlem. Y'all cats are from Paris, right? Okay. okay! Montreal, Australia. Australia, eh? All right. Now, nous sommes Harlem Parisiens. Gibou! Oh! <laughs> right, and over in this corner we got Miss Montreal Big Mouth and uh, Crocodile Dundee, okay? Loser buys dinner, two free meals in one day. You got it. Hey, come on, listen. What rules are you playing by, sweetheart? <laughs> Girl's gonna use whatever advantage she's got. All right. All right. Four course dinner. Five. Side. Get ready with the dinner money, honey. But that's the wrong game. This is basketball. Yahoo! Now the score is tied. Hand the ball over, tough guy. Come on. I cannot remember the last time I had to pay for my lunch. This is lunch? Mm-hmm. I was looking forward to that dinner, remember? No, no. I am a man of my word. I'd like you to be my guest. My hotel, 8 o'clock. Not me. Some of us have to work. Mm. Some of us would like to have to work. Well, you could say that I'm, uh, in between engagements. Out of work. Temporarily sidelined. My team did not appreciate my talents. So I'm looking for a new one. Same here. Oh, then the future's wide open for the both of us. To the future. And to those who appreciate us. And to all the rest, later for them. <laughs> later for them. 
Brother Sim. You think you could do me a small favor? Like what? Well, being in between jobs as we both are, I find myself somewhat lacking in the financial department. I can't pay for this. Ah, don't be ridiculous, my brother. See, I casually let slip to the management that uh, I was well acquainted with a lot of famous people. Including me. And when they realize how I'm lifting the image of their hotel, they gonna beg me to stay, just for the glory of my patronage. <laughs> That's why you let me win at basketball. So you'd get me here tonight. You could have just asked me. Dodging and weaving. That's the name of the game, Brother Sim. <laughs> so, so the waiter doesn't believe I'm a famous anything? Ah, you're pretty smart for a kid. Ah, Pierre, my man. I want to introduce you to Simon Gunner, star of the Winter Circus. Oh, no, I'm sure. Wait, uh... That's meant to be medium rare. Ow! Oh! He's out of control. What do we do? I think that is your problem, monsieur. Ah! The bread knife. Oh, no! I was only joking! Not the bread knife! Okay, I promise. No bread knife. Oh! Oh! Hey, Louis. Yeah? Guess what? What? It's dinner time. Oh, wow! Let's do it! Oh, let's have kid! So we... Oh, my Jesus! Tout brûlé! Strange people, the French. <laughs> <laughs> Sim says when I get this right, I can try Indian clubs. Sim can do five Indian clubs. And you should see him with a basketball. Ah, oh, Sim, was it good? It's fantastic. We had oysters. Oh, yuck. Maybe I should get fired more often. Now you'll have more time to teach me. So you are a teacher now? Wait, wait, Sim, look at this. Look what I can do. Juliet! Juliet! Have you got my present? Yes, it's me. R no, you have to ask who I am first. Who are you? Have you got my present? Yes, it's me, Romeo. I love you. Give me my present. No, not yet. Swap. <laughs> <laughs> now you call me. <laughs> <laughs> By my name. Romeo. No, I'm Juliet now. And do you want your present now? No, not yet. Oh, look! <laughs> you don't have anything in your mouth, do you? You would tell me if she had... I mean, if she was eating... <laughs> seashells, seashells on the seashore. <laughs> Damn! I was sure she had something in her. Swap! I'll take the choice. <laughs> Clutch! <laughs> in the Cirque de la Lune clowns, do not fight over chocolates! <laughs> It was her! It was him! It was her! It was him! It was him! It was him! It was him. It was him. Bye bye! <laughs> Fantastic! Very good. An audience would have been eating out of your hands. It'd be great to work with you sometime, Sim. Back in Australia, perhaps in Montreal. Oh, that'd be fantastic. A good clown is welcome anywhere. Oh, 
Now, don't forget, everyone, the airport bus leaves the hotel at 7 o'clock. Good luck, mate. Should go and pack. Yeah. You know, I'm really gonna miss you. Me too. Bye, Sim. Eve! You forgot something. Three stagehands have been fired today. The clowns will be next. Ten years I am in the circus. They do not fire me. No. I have a wife to support. Eugene has a wife and a family to support. Then they will fire me. Good day, everybody. Oh, oh the scene, the scene. What's wrong? It started. And Chevalier lets him get away with it. Yo, we are the artists. No, not the schoolboys. No. Why don't you get rid of him? He is not a, a rabbit who will disappear. He's a crook. He's been fiddling the books. He should be fired. Haven't you already caused enough trouble with your fantastic stories? I've seen the seating plans. I have better things to do with my time than listen to this nonsense. It's true. Some of the seats have been marked free and I know they've been sold. Perhaps we could investigate further. Maybe we could buy some tickets in the area marked free and then we can cross-check them against the box office records. But the records are in Charles's office. I know how to take care of that. Chocolate Gatto. Oh. I'm so glad you could join me, Mr. Braddock. Oh, my pleasure. <clears throat> Which particular magazine is this interview for? It's a little hard to say. What I mean is, I'm syndicated all over the place. The New York Post, LA Weekly, The Times. In London? Hoboken. How about we eat first? <laughs> okay. Bonsoir, monsieur. S'il vous plaît. And who is your famous guest this evening? This is Mr. Charles Braddock. He's the new general manager of the Cirque de Verre. And I eat bow ties for breakfast. Sounds fascinating. Good, 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 good. Ten tickets in the right place. <laughs> and you all paid for them? Yeah. No. Yeah, at the full price. <laughs> <laughs> good. It's nearly proof. Tradition, tradition. Uh-huh. There are those of us who are up to date, and there are those of us who are left behind. It's terrific. And uh, the result? Under my plan, the company will be profitable within six months. A three-pronged strategy. Commercial sponsorship, debt into equity, rationalization of resources, material and personnel. Mm -hmm. Print. Come on, print. Charles, I can see my headline. Financial tornado sweeps through famous winter circus. Ha! Tornado. I like it. But not a word. You mustn't print your article until after the board meeting. This is off the record. Print it. Charles, trust me. I'm a journalist. We'll apply my formula and watch the money roll in. More complimentary champagne? The wine list, I think, Pierre. Charles? We will drink to success. Extravagant, huh? I beg your pardon. You are the manager of the Cirque d'Hiver, and I am the lion tamer. Would you be good enough to call Monsieur Hubert, my box office manager? Tell him I'll be in directly. Well, um... Do it! Of course. This hotel could do with the Braddock treatment. 
Quick, hide! Sim? What are you doing here? I was looking for Michelle. He got lost. Sim! Found him. I'm so sorry, Mr. Jackson. Um, perhaps it, if there is something that... What was it you were saying earlier? Something about bow tie eating? Or was it lion taming? <laughs> don't understand it. The seats we bought are marked free here. But the money is included in the total at the box office. Add it up again. Yes, yes, quick. I've made a complete fool out of myself. How? The purple seats are marked Libre here, which is supposed to mean free. But it's a different sort of free. It means they haven't been booked, but are free to be sold at the door. So, the Charles, he is not the thief. What a terrible disappointment. Ay, ay, ay. And it all was right. <laughs> Sim! Hey! Is this my lucky day or what? First, I get a discount on my hotel, thanks to you, and then the facts arise. Woohoo! Well, are you going to tell me what it says? I found a new team, the Montreal Cyclones. Ah. Montreal? Yeah, you've been there? That's where the Cirque de la Lune is. And Eve. Ah, your lady friend, huh? They even offered me a job. Why don't you tag along? My plane ticket only goes back to Australia. I owe you one, don't I? Well, I just might be able to get that ticket of yours adjusted. So I can go to Montreal? Give me a ticket, Brother Sim. Consider it fixed. Yeah, well, you know, I only accepted so that the hotel management wouldn't feel so guilty. <laughs> Come on, let's go for a drive. Check it out. Give this a listen. Now, Charles Braddock might not be a thief, but this guy sure got some nasty plans. These cutbacks are essential if you want the circus and your jobs to survive. But you are not planning to fire any clowns. Not unless we have to. I don't want any more interruptions. There's something I have to say to everyone. You are no longer an employee. Let him speak. Yeah. Yeah. I came to apologize. I thought you were stealing from the circus and I was wrong. I'm sorry. You think this will get you your job back? It's a good beginning. He will not be re-employed. Give the boy a chores. Yeah. Yeah. I stand with Francois. Your yeah. yeah. subordination, Monsieur Chevalier. It warrants instant dismissal. That's your plan, isn't it? To fire as many people as possible and do the same show over and over again. This is ridiculous. Report. I propose we reduce the show to 90 minutes and cut out the superfluous performers. We have too many acrobats and trapeze artists. I'll get rid of the clowns, apart from two draw cards. Sell posters, t-shirts, caps at intermission. Do away with all the expensive rehearsing of new shows. My remarks have been taken entirely out of context. We'll talk about this later in my office. I have the full support of the board of directors of the circus. And while I am the director, I will make the decision. I'm very impressed, Sim, with your concern for the circus. And with your willingness to admit when you are wrong. You will be re-employed by the Winter Circus. I appreciate your offer and your support, but I'm not coming back. I'm going to Montreal to join the Cirque de la Lune. Oh. 
folle qui se danse ici, hein C'est un cirque. Allez, on continue. I just want to say goodbye to everyone. They are real thing. I love the Winter Circus and I really miss it. But the Cirque de la Lune is right for me. I'll learn more. Nothing. That is what you will learn because you do not have the patience. You said if I want to be a great clown, I have to be true to myself. All right, five minutes break. This is being true to change circuses every month, to fly around the world with some stranger you meet in a park. Doozy's a friend. He got my ticket changed so I can go to Montreal and work with Philip and Eve. They believe in me. And I do not. They're doing different things and doing them in a way that's right for me. You are like a child. Too much candy. You don't even know what you want. I don't want to perform in the arena like a seal. I know I want to be my kind of clown, not yours. You will make the same foolish mistakes I did. I'm not the same as you. More than you know. Now I have to teach my seals. Goodbye. How can you talk like this? The boy has grown up. He should be allowed to leave with your blessing. I'm not his father. I was his teacher, nothing more. Ali! I'll stay here until I die. Who'll look after these then? I was going to give them to you. No. You can pass them on to someone else and they can go from clown to clown all around the world. You can't give up. We need more clowns in this world. I'm too unhappy. So are lots of people. But that's why clowns are so special, because we make people laugh. And when people laugh, they forget they're unhappy. <laughs> Is there someone there? We. Oui. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> we do not let you go without the proper goodbye. So you remember us for the traveling clown. <laughs> is a slam dunk. You are traveling with a celebrity now. Unless, of course, you'd rather stay with Eve. Uh, two surprises in one day might be a bit much. Two? She doesn't know I'm here yet. Hello, may I help you? Uh, Jackson and Gunner. Welcome to Montreal, Mr. Jackson, Mr. Gunner. Can you tell me how to get to the Cirque de la Lune, please?
Euh, une minute de pause. Euh, encore trois. Un, deux, trois, quatre. G'day, Philip. Cinq. I bet you didn't expect six, to see me so soon. Seven, no, I didn't. Eight, it's me, Sim. Sim, of course. <laughs> well, you made it. You said we had to work together. <laughs> yeah, too right I did, <laughs> but so soon. When can I start? Well, uh, we audition Fridays. Audition? Yeah, just make an appointment in the office. Is, is Eve here? <sighs> no, no, she's at school during the week. School? Right. Well, I'll see you later in the week then. Yeah. Hello. Uh... As you can see, I've added diagonal struts. I believe it will make it stronger. Here's hopping. <laughs> what gave you the idea for the braces? Like when you rig a tightrope, you know? <laughs> What's so amusing, Danielle? <laughs> Same! <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever see you again. Wasn't the same after you left Paris. How long are you here for? Depends on my job. You're not on holiday? No way. <laughs> Means we can work together like we did in Paris. It's different now. I know. Everything's new. No more tradition. I mean, I haven't got as much time. I've got plenty of other things to do. School, homework, music lesson. You'll always have time for clowning. Here comes my piano teacher. Hi, Mrs. Mannering. Hello, Eve. Sam! Mum will kill me! Ah! <laughs> no, she won't. How could you know? I spoke to her on the phone. That's how I found out where your school was. I'll see you tomorrow, after school. Bzzz, wrong. You'll see me later tonight. Tonight? Your mother invited me to dinner. Eve told us she met an Aussie in Paris. <laughs> she and I had a great time rehearsing at the Sioux and improvising in the streets. And what other things do you do, Simon, apart from your clowning? Being a clown's all I've ever wanted to do. Nothing wrong with that. No, no, but it doesn't hurt to have choices. I knew from the day I was three what I wanted to do. And what was that? Own a candy store. It is every child's dream. Oh, my parents laughed and patted me on the head. And now I own 20 stores. Eh? <laughs> if our Eve wants to be a clown, you won't find me laughing. Well, it would be such a shame to throw away all your education and ability. Scientists don't make people laugh. Clowns do. I'm going to do both, all right? A scientist with a sense of humor? Impossible. Sim, what do you think our Eve should do? You don't have to answer. Be the first clown in outer space. <laughs> don't encourage them. We could be the best clown duo in the world. The Sim and Eve show. Sure. Stand your ground. Don't mean stand still. You gotta keep them guessing. Ducking them, waving, eh? <laughs> you got it, partner. All right, CJ, call it a day. Yep. I tried being definite. And? She said no. She implied she didn't want to be the first clown in outer space with me. What? Look, if she's not gonna play ball, pack up your sneakers, and go home. She's forgotten how great it was in Paris. A girl who forgets Paris, now she'll break your heart. Look, you gotta find a way to get her interested. You know, work up a strategy, dazzle the girl, you can do that. You don't have to wear a costume for the audition. I want to make an impression. I want us to make an impression. 
You ready? Okay. What did Philip say about the audition? Not much. Why? Well, you know, he's got a full company already. Company audition were a long time ago. He must be making an exception in my case. Come on. That was fantastic. Let's do it again. I'm sorry, I can't. I've got a music lesson. Sim! Mate! <laughs> what are you doing? I've been rehearsing with Eve. Oh, great. You got a double act going. We've been rehearsing for the audition on Friday. For you. Oh, yeah, great. I reckon even I could fit into your show. With more work. You'll see on Friday. Uh, hang on, Sim. What show? Well, your show. My job. The one we talked about in Paris. You didn't warn me I'd have to audition for it. No, Friday's auditions are for master classes. It's one of the ways we pay the rent. Listen, Sim, I'd love to offer you a job, along with all the rest of my students. Well, some of them. But we can't afford it. I thought you said we'd have to work together. I meant, I hoped we would. Sometime. I'm sorry if I've misled you. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a discount on classes. I'll have to think about it. Good. You'll get a lot out of it, I promise you. Good. It's easy if you've got parents who can pay for it all. But what am I supposed to do? Pretend we are broke and stay home all day? Clowning is just a hobby for you, isn't it? I really enjoy it, but I enjoy other things too. Being a clown is all I've got. It's all I ever wanted to do. That's great. For you. And not for you. Where's my blue sweater? You see my comb? What do you reckon I should do? Not now, Sim. I got the Rockets game. And this is something you gotta work out for yourself. Doozy, would you walk away? It depends. How important to you is she? Wish me luck. Me too. No, really, they're real. No tricks, no spiders, no water jets, no revolting smell. Putting on a red nose isn't going to change the world. If it makes people think, then it just might. Sim, I told you, I want to do something important with my life. And what I want isn't important? Why do you always bring everything back to yourself? What? I'm not talking about myself. <coughs> Making other people laugh. 
that's what's important. I know, you think I'm a spoiled brat. And that I've never had to do anything for myself. Yes, I'm lucky. But that doesn't mean I don't understand how you feel. We're such a great team. Please, listen. I think you're wonderful, but I can't. I don't want to stop living the rest of my life just to be a clown. Just? Well, only a clown. Why'd you tell me to come then? I didn't tell you to. Oh, just like Philip. You say, come to Montreal, but you didn't really mean it. I know you're having a hard time. But please, don't blame everyone else. Sim and I had a fight. I thought you two were best buddies. We are. We were. Can I help? Could you lend Sim some money for his lessons? Is that what this is about? Sim's lessons? Then he wouldn't need me to clan with him all the time and we'd still be friends. He could work in one of your shops. It's not quite that easy. There are visas and work permits. It pay you back. Look, go talk to him. If he is really keen and you want it, I'm um, prepared to discuss it. Thanks, Papa. <laughs> Sam, how you doing? Terrible. I went to the game and you weren't playing. <laughs> the Montreal Cyclones definitely do not appreciate me. I got a better deal. Are we moving? Uh, correction. I'm moving. I got a new team. So you're leaving? Yeah, to a team who appreciates me. And who's paying me a little bit more money. But you've only just started here. Well, that's why it's best that I get out now, before I get tied down. A man has got to go with his instincts, Sam. When a situation isn't working out, baby, you got to cut and run. Hey, don't worry. The place is paid up until the end of the week. And I figured that Philip and Eve could help you out with a place after that. Yeah. Look, this will tide you over until you get your first paycheck from the circus. All right? Come on. Thanks. You've never been to New York, have you? All right. When you get done being a big star here at the Cirque de la Lune, come on down. I'll show you the city, right? OK. And hey, you call me anytime. Remember that. Good luck, Brother Sim. Me? I'm gone. Salut, maman. Oh, you sound like a real Frenchman. How's Paris? I'm in Montreal now. Montreal? Boy, you do get around. Is this the long way back to Australia? No. What's wrong? You know how you said you wanted me to come home? Yeah. You 
haven't changed your mind? Of course not. You sure? Things really will be different this time, Sim. I'm not going to change my mind whether it's next week or next year or whenever it is you want to come home. How about as soon as possible? As soon as possible would be wonderful. Th there's just one little problem. I'm nearly broke. Hello, miss. Hello. Mr. Gunner, please. Oh, I'm sorry. He checked out. Did he leave a message? Mm. No, I'm sorry. Thanks. You're welcome. 